Hello, this is Sarah Kite, and I work with UT Extension in McMinn County. This is our Relax Wednesday activity, and it's called How Full Is Your Plate? So right now, being self-quarantined, social distancing, life just changing, how do you feel? Do you feel like your plate is overflowing and you're super stressed out and you just don't know what to do and you wish things can go back to how they were? Well, there's an activity that you can do. You can do this by yourself. You can do this with your family, your loved ones, your kids, your grandkids. It's called, how full is your plate? So get a plate or get a piece of paper, whatever's on hand in your house. You can't just run to the store like you used to. So find something in your home and stress less. So one thing we can do to stress less, remember the four R's for stressing less is react, recharge, refocus, or revise. So when you feel like your plate is overflowing, you might need to revise. So grab a plate, grab a pen, grab a marker, a crayon, whatever you want, whatever you can find, no worries. And on here, you're gonna write down all the things that are stressing you out, that are overloading you. On mine, I wrote things like school, home, parents, meals, food, responsibility, future, schedules, this could be what my kids have written on their plate. And then I can do another one for myself. Things that are stressing me out, Easter, work, and homeschooling my kids at the same time. Social isolation, all these seasonal allergies that are just stopping up our heads. Um, grocery stores being empty when you need things. Not traveling. The unknown. Is school ever going to start up again? COVID-19, your finances, your bills. So think about all the things that cause you stress. After you write all those things down that are filling up your plate, be specific, don't just say life. What about life is stressing you out specifically? And then take your pen, your marker, and you wanna cross out everything that you have no control over. Take a minute, cross it off. And then look to see what is really left that you can't control. Because in life, there are things that are out of our control. And the best thing to do to help stress less and relax is to realize what I have no control over. So after I'm done, I've crossed off quite a few things. But I can control work and homeschool balance. I can control social isolation. I can't control allergies. I can't control the COVID-19 is here. But there's things about those topics that I can do something about, even though I can't control it. Um, so Easter, Easter's coming up um, on, Sat on Sunday, and you might have a lot of family traditions around Easter, and you can't travel to see family, family's not traveling to see you, so have a new tradition for this Easter. Take it as it comes. Um, someone once said, bloom where you're planted. You know, we're here in our home, we're not going anywhere, we're just here. So what can we do to make it fun? Um, we have Easter eggs left over from future, from past Easter's, so we can take those eggs and we can hide them, hide them, hide them, hide them, hide them, and hide them, hide them, hide them some more. Our kids are little toddlers, they're six and five, and they love Easter egg hunts. We don't have to go and buy all this candy because can't leave my house. So maybe I can find things around the house and just put them in their eggs, be creative. Um, social, social isolation. We can do things like these virtual meetings and still see people, FaceTime, Skype. Again, be creative with things. Um, the grocery store, just go with what you can find and be creative with your meals. If you have this big feast for Easter plan and you can't find that perfect piece of food because it's not on the shelf, it's okay. Be creative, just go with the flow. Finances, bills, we try to store up and we try to save as much money as we can, have that safety net for when we just don't have the finances because of work's not being there. Um, so do your best. You don't need to be going to buy food out right now. Restaurants, you don't have to eat out every night. You can eat out once in a while by getting takeout if you're tired of cooking. Some things I can't control for my kids, the same thing. Let them cross out the things that they just can't control. They can't control not going to school. But you can make the most of homeschooling if you're not used to it. Um, as I look at the ones that they made, I'm not really good at 
being creative, but there's great things out there like Pinterest and other people's blogs that help me. Um, we had a beach trip planned for spring break that we canceled because of what's going on right now with COVID-19. So we had a beach day at school. Do you know how well your kids perform in school when they wear their swimsuit all day? My kids wore their swimsuit all day to school and they had the best school day. And so we had to repeat it the next day again. We have a little shark cookie cutter we got from our neighbor. And so we made shark cookies that day. We have some kinetic sand. So we use our creative minds to play in the sand, build, mold, write our ABCs. Um, it's not warm enough for the sprinkler yet, but you know, be creative. We had a cowboy day. We wore our cowboy hats. We took naps in sleeping bags like the cowboys do. We made a fire out of construction paper. Um, so think of ways that you can make homeschooling fun for you and your kids. Um, schedule, the more you have a schedule in your life, the less stress you have. So try to wake up the same time every day, have your meals at the same time. If you have schooling to do for your kids, have a schedule set, write it down so they know what to expect. Um, your snack time schedule, your meal time schedule. When you want to end, if you wanted to do schooling all day, every day, Monday through Thursday, and take a break on Friday, have a schedule, post your schedule, then everyone knows what to expect. Um, but remember the four R's of stressing less, react, revise, recharge, refocus. So doing your plates, how full is your plate will help you to refocus on the things you can control and recognize that there's some things you just can't control and that's okay. And then take that after you refocus your mind, then let yourself revise, revise your game plan, be realistic with your goals, be realistic with life right now and enjoy life as it is. So remember to bloom where you're planted. I hope this was a good relaxed activity for today. Try it, you can comment things that you learned about it, things that you realize you're stressing over, they have no control over. Um, comment things you're doing to help to revise your game plans for the day. Hope you have a wonderful rest of your week. This is Sarah Kite with UT Extension, McMinn County, and I'll see you next Wednesday for another relaxed activity. Thank you.